Hi, another frequent question I get about tummy tuck is how do you determine what type of tummy tuck is best for that particular patient? Well, it depends on an evaluation of loose skin, the muscle quality, and where is that loose skin? So the shortest scar option is called a mini tummy tuck, and that's basically like a C-section scar, and that's designed to remove overhanging skin on the lower part of the abdomen below the belly button. If they have loose skin above the belly button, it won't address that, so that may not be a good option and you also get tightening of the muscles. In fact, you get tightening of the muscles with all tummy tuck options, so that, that part of it is the same, okay? Now, if you have a patient who has loose skin both above and below the belly button, they may need what's called a standard tummy tuck or an anterior tummy tuck, and that's an incision from basically the front of hip bone to the front of hip bone, okay? The next patient um, who's gonna have looseness that goes on to the side, so they're gonna do what's called an extended tummy tuck. You're gonna extend the incision further. It's gonna to go to the hips or the side of the hips, and you can determine where is that loose skin when you look at yourself sitting down and you see a little overhanging skin. That gives you a pretty good idea where that incision needs to be in terms of the length of incision. So the benefit of the extended tummy tuck is you're gonna get some of that loose skin on the side. So as you can see, as you pay the cost of having a longer incision, you get benefit from that as well. And then the last option is something called an around the world or a belt lipectomy or a lower body lift. And that incision goes all the ways around. And how do you determine if somebody needs a belt lipectomy? Well, you determine that because number one, they have to have loose skin on the side and backs, and there has to be a benefit for the patient to remove that skin, okay? Just the presence of loose skin without a benefit is not in and of itself enough. So if you look at somebody who has loose skin on their side, and when you lift up, and you could do this in a mirror, and you, you lift up your belly skin or your side skin, and you see it, it's just like my pants get tighter here. You get that tightening of your outer thigh. Same thing happens when your butt, your butt lifts. You get a smoothing of the butt when you might have some wrinkling or dimpling on there, and the shape of the butt improves. If you like that improvement, then you may be somebody who may benefit from it around the world. Thank you.